Hey guys, it's Leslie and I want to welcome you to a special edition of Feel Good Friday because next week is Mental Health Week. So I have our CEO Shaq May here to talk about Mental Health Week and we're so excited. We celebrate every year. Yeah, Mental Health Week should be every week. It should, it should. You should be taking care of it and we should be talking about it every single week because one in four people struggle with mental illness and the number for mental distress is even higher. It's one in two, which means it affects you or someone you know. Yeah, and, and mental distress is things like uh, just not feeling well, like low mood, um, anxiety. I think almost every single person has experienced it. Um, stress, lack of like sleep, insomnia. Um, these are things that not necessarily count as a mental illness, um, but are things that we don't have to be living with. Yeah, and they impact your day-to-day -day life. You could be living a much freer and happier life if you are taking care of our mental health every day, not just during Mental Health Week. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, so we want to tell you how you can get involved next week and how you can take care of yourself during Mental Health Week and continue those practices all year long. Yeah. Yeah, so this week, what we want you to do is we want you to reach out and talk to people. Check in on your friends, see how they're doing. Make sure that you're talking about your health, about your friend's health, and that everyone knows that they have a support system there. Yeah, and literally get loud. Yeah, that is the hashtag that uh, CAMH has chosen this year, and we are so for it. Like, talk about mental health. And we have tons of tips on our blog about how you can start the conversation with your friend, or how you can check in and keep it going and make sure you're taking care of yourself and being a good support for your friends. So make sure you check out those resources. I'll be posting them throughout the week. Yeah, and it's a week when there's no more excuses for stigma. Um, the week, or just the name, Mental Health Week, uh, takes away the excuses that exist for not wanting to talk about it. It gives us permission to um, really honestly and authentically talk about um, our mental health states. And it's important for you to put up your hand and say that I need help. It's also important for you to reach out to friends and family who you think need help and give them some support and give them some resources. Um, throughout the week, uh, we're going to be post posting stuff on all sorts of social media yeah. that we have. Um, you know, throughout the year, we've been doing it. Uh, hopefully, uh, Leslie can put together maybe like a summary of our blog posts and push that out uh, for you guys to have a hand. But truthfully, every every week should be Mental Health Week, but this week especially is going to be very important. The weather is nice. Go reach out to a friend or a family member that you think is suffering and take them for a walk. Just go inside and have an honest conversation about what's going on. Yeah, we really believe here in the power of words. And so not just talking to your friends and letting them know that you're there as a support, but talking on social media, being open, because the more we talk about it, the easier it is for people to reach out and get help for themselves. They feel supported. They feel like there's a non-judgmental community that they can reach out to. And that's so important. And that's kind of our mission here at Tranquil is making sure that people are able to access the help they need. And stigma is a big part of that. Yeah. And we want you to know that if there's anything that we can help with, um, if there's any sort of, um, you, know, you know, finding the right resource help that you guys need from us, uh, you can always just give us a call. There's always going to be someone there who's going to pick up and give you some help. You can email us, send us messages yeah. on social media. Um, you know, we're all here to support you. And especially this week, we're all, all hands on deck in terms of making sure that everyone's going to get the support that they need. Yeah, so what can you do this week to take care of yourself? Um, a big thing we talk about in all these videos is self-care. We've heard different self-care tips from all of our guests. So you can go back, you can watch them. They have awesome tips. But really find what works for you. For me, it's baking and cooking. For someone else, it might be something different. Uh, for me, it's taking time to just relax. Um, you know, self-care, again, as Leslie said, is different for every person. It's whatever gets you to be comfortable. Um, try different things until you figure out that one thing that's going to work for you. It could be, um, you know, meditation. It could be a five-minute journal. It could be um, taking long walks, reading books, um, and whatever it is that you need. And also take some time to reflect um, inside of you and see what it is that, you, you know, you really need to be happy. And it doesn't always have to be something from the outside. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, writing about it is a great way to kind of 
connect uh, with how you're feeling and kind of verbalize it. Um, if you're not a writer, talk about it. It doesn't even need to be that someone else. Just get it out and make yourself comfortable with talking about it because that is so powerful. And on the note of trying new things, maybe book a session to talk to someone who has kind of an unbiased view. Yeah, because yeah, there's there's oh, there's no harm in talking to someone yeah. uh, who's not going to judge you and who's just going to understand and just, you know, help you figure your stuff out. That's the kind of thing with therapy, right? Like, it's not about getting advice on how do I fix myself. Mm -hmm. It's more so how do I figure out how I can help myself, right? And um, there's that misconception of if I am not, if I'm anxious or if I have mental distress or if I have any sort of problem that there's something wrong with me and I need to be fixed. It's more so um, I need to figure out how I can cope and I can co get you know overcome the barriers that exist. Everyone's life has challenges, and what sets us apart is the way we deal with that problem. Yes, that's absolutely true. That's how we finish off every video and just being able to gain a different perspective and gain that strength. It's all about building your own strength so you can face things. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited to read the Sheryl Sandberg book because uh, in option B she says, um, we're not born with resilience and that's a muscle that we can build. And I'm, I I personally believe that um, it's, a, it's a muscle I've built and it wasn't there from the beginning. And I think for a lot of people, they would agree that that's the fact, yeah. right? So. Um, once I read the book, I'm going to do a review for you guys. I'll come in and talk yeah. about option B, but I'm very excited about it. Yeah, that'll be so exciting. It's, it's really, you know, everything you have ever achieved, it's all been within you. And so we say, oh, they bring out the smart side of me. Someone else brings out this side of me, but all those sides that they're bringing out yes. are in you. So therapy is really great at teaching you how to bring them out yourself and gaining that strength so you can do it all by yourself because you have that power within you. Yeah. And you just need to realize it. Yeah, and so on a final note, in terms of getting involved this week, CAMH's website has a full list of events. There's also, if you're in Toronto, going to be a March for Mental Health in Nathan Phelps Square on May 6th at noon. So get part of that. It's all about raising awareness and taking action on mental health so everyone can get the resources that they need. Yeah, so March 6th, hopefully it won't be raining. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have nice and weather. Follow us on Instagram. We'll be short sharing our personal stories as well as just stories walking around town asking people about Mental Health Week. Um, and we'll also be taking over Future Entrepreneurs yep. Instagram for May 1st, so kicking off Mental Health Week. Um, we'll share our stories, tips on their Instagram post, uh, Instagram page, as well as our own. Um, and that's about it. Yeah, so have a great weekend, and we look forward to seeing how all of you are celebrating Mental Health Week next yeah, week. Yeah, hashtag get loud. Yes, And also get tag, loud. tag us so we can retweet your content so everyone can see how awesome you are. Yeah, have a great weekend, guys.